dearly beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ very many times we hear the term word of God or God's word and most of the people conclude that word of God is only limited to Bible they narrow the meaning completely to a text but actually Bible is the written word of God the revelation of God that was manifested in the universe is being written down in order that we might understand but very many people just narrow the term word of God to a text and according to Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God nowhere it says the Bible was with God and the Bible was God here the mention of the word of God is the second person of the Holy Trinity through whom all things were made and for whom all things exist and he is before all things and in him all things hold together very many people become so obsessed with the text so much so they forget about the person and this person is the word who became flesh and dwelt amongst us the author of Hebrews says long time ago many times and in many ways God spoke to our fathers by prophets in these last days he spoke to us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things through whom he created the whole world he is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature and he upholds the universe by the word of his power this word of God is a person Jesus Christ the son of God Jesus is the exact imprint of God's nature the word who came from heaven to accomplish the plan of salvation God has prepared for all of us that we might not perish but have life through his son he is the fulfillment of the promise made in today's first reading from the book of Isaiah verse 10 55 verse 10 the word who came from heaven to accomplish the will of the father in the Bible we have how this work of salvation began and how this is accomplished it is the self revelation of God in Christ Jesus Christ speaks to us through the scriptures and proclaims the gospel by the power of the Holy Spirit that's why St. Jerome says ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ that means by hearing what Jesus Christ have, has to say we need to become doers of his word now completely reading the Bible three times doesn't mean that you know the Bible very well Christianity is not about the text very many people who limited Christianity to the text were a cause of division hatred and threat perception in history but Christianity is about encountering the person Jesus Christ the Son of God and living according to his gospel somebody asked me how many times in your lifetime did you read the Bible and in return I asked them 
what difference that does it make what difference does it make and he said no 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 you should read the bible it is said in your lifetime if you read the bible three times you are blessed then i told him what is important is how much you put into practice what you have read that will bring you salvation some are so engrossed in memorizing the scripture passages that they fail to understand what they read and the spirit behind it the point is this dear friends are you allowing god's word to change and transform you it happens only when you start putting the word into practice in the gospel of john chapter 6 we read those who eat my flesh and drink my blood will have eternal life are people really putting this into practice they can quote this verse but jesus commanded that we come and receive his body and blood daily because we have to have life in him but how many people are taking serious they might know the scripture well that doesn't render that they know everything and interestingly some communities are lost with their own interpretation about gospel of john chapter 6 and they glorify the interpretation to their own ruin history says that here comes the difference saint anthony heard and followed that's why his action spoke and his prayers were heard what about us are we hindering christ who is calling out to us saying why do you call me lord lord and do not do what i command you are we hindering his voice speaking to us through the bible saint anthony says action speaks louder than words let your words teach your action speak we are full of words but empty of actions and we are at the verge of being cursed by the lord just as the cursed fig tree no fruits only leaves so choice is yours obey him and receive a blessing follow him and receive eternal life